Hello guys, TavHG here and welcome back to another video and today we're going to be taking a look at this. I was going to say we're going to be taking a look at what I bought, but I've not bought this. I got this for free on Facebook in one of those groups where people just get rid of things for free. I saw this and I decided, yeah, why not get it? I've wanted a VHS player for quite a long time and this one for free looked to be pretty decent. Apparently it works, but I'm not too sure about that. It looks quite ropey, it's very scratched, it's also dented, it's also very dirty and a bit sticky. I have cleaned it and loads of brown stuff came off, but it's still not great. And to be honest, I'm not too bothered if it works or not. Of course, I'd prefer it if it did work, so I'd have a working player. But if it doesn't work, it's not cost me any money. And I'll just like give it away for parts or something and at least I get to make a video about it too. So let's just start by taking a look at this thing I guess. We will test it a bit later but first we'll just take a look around this thing. So this is a Panasonic. I was looking at getting a Panasonic one before I found this and if this one doesn't work I will probably get a Panasonic one to replace it. I don't know why I just feel like they're pretty decent ones. This is an NVHD675, that means absolutely nothing to me, I know nothing about these. This is actually probably older than me, or about the same age as me, so that probably makes me sound really young, but yeah, I really don't have much experience with VHS, so yeah, please do excuse me if I literally don't know what the hell I'm talking about. I'm learning here, and I think that is pretty cool, so that's the model, which I guess is pretty cool. We've got our power button here and also our eject button there. We can actually flap this down and inside we've got our RCA. So this is video and audio in which is pretty cool. I'll close that up again now. Nice to see that this door is actually still here. Lots of the time they've just fallen off so it's nice to see that it is still intact and working on this particular example. So of course, here's the flap where the tape goes in and it says on it Superdrive Multi-Intelligent Control 2. Again, that doesn't mean anything to me, but the fact it's 2 implies that there was a Multi-Intelligent Control 1 and this is 2, meaning that in some way it is better. Down here we do have a digital screen which will tell us like how far along a tape is and things like that. We've got Direct TV Record button there and also a dub and here it says video plus PDC tape library subtitles record and playback on there as well. On this side we've got an up and a down as well as a record button which is nice so it looks like you can record to tape on this. I'm guessing if you like plugged something into the front you could record that onto a tape or you could also do that using the back ports as well which we will also look and I should say the reason I've got it propped up on a box lid is because the bottom's a bit rusty I don't really want to get rust everywhere so I've just propped it up for the sake of this video. Over here we've got a timer record button not really sure what that's for I'm guessing it's something to do with timer and recording as I said I really don't know and here we've got fast forward rewind play stop and pause. Now this thing did not come with a remote control so all the controls that are here are the only controls that I've got. So that is kind of a shame. I can probably get a replacement remote online for not a lot of money anyway. So it's not a big deal. And you can probably see up here it says VHS PAL. So this will indeed read PAL, which is good. So this is a UK player. I'm now going to turn this thing around to the back so we can look at what is going on back there and it is quite grubby. I did clean it but not particularly greatly because if this thing doesn't work there's no point me wasting my time having cleaned it. I'm just gonna like, go chuck it away or something like that. I'm not gonna put it in the bin. I'll see if anyone wants it. I wouldn't want to like take it to the tip or something. That would just feel a bit mean. Over here is our figure of eight input. So that is where we plug it in to get power of course, nothing there, label there, I'll get a close up of that in a moment. Here we've got two SCARTs, one is a SCART in, the other is an out, so if we just wanted to play a VHS we would plug it into the out and output that to a television. Here we've got audio out and we also have RF in and RF out over there as well. 
And here is a close up on that label for if you're interesting. So it says Panasonic there, NVHD675B, which is of course the model, the serial numbers there as well, as well as some other information if you would like to read that. So I did briefly mention the condition of this thing. And if I flip this over to the top, you might be able to see what I'm talking about. There's scratches on it and it is also a bit dented. But I think most of these are these days from having TVs plonked on top of them for most of their lives. So I don't think this is particularly unusual. But yeah, it's not great, but if I had it like in my TV cabinet, it wouldn't be noticeable. So it wouldn't exactly be the end of the world. But what I'm gonna do now is go get a TV to plug this into, and we will see if it does anything. Okay, so I've got a little bit of a setup going on here. I've got the VHS player and I've got a television above. And I thought it was just the right thing to do to stack them up just because that's what people used to do back in the day. So why not do that now? So I'm going to turn the television on. I've got the remote. It should already be on the SCART input Then hopefully all I'll have to do is plug the VHS player in and turn it on, then hopefully something will happen. I'll probably have to put a VHS in, but before I go and get one, let's just see if anything happens without me having to do that. Okay, the player now has power, and I can hear it doing something, and something is lighting up on the screen down there. And it looks like we have an error code. I'm not sure how visible that is, but it's currently saying F04. Let's try pressing the power button to see if it will come on. So it looks like it's trying to do something right now. And it stops itself and says F04. Okay, so looking on this particular website, it looks like someone got this error code after getting a tape stuck in their machine. There isn't currently a tape in there, I've checked. Maybe there was one stuck in here at some point, but it's now out and maybe it's done some sort of damage to the mechanism because further down, someone had a similar problem. They got the tape out, but they've still got the error. So I'm not too sure. I'll keep looking at these for a little bit longer and hopefully I'll find some sort of solution because right now it's still just saying the same thing as you can see, F04. Okay, so I just read that if I unplug the power and then turn it back on, that error might go away. Although I'm not too hopeful, but I will try. Hopefully you can see the screen there because it is still displaying it. It is quite dim though. So what I'll do is I will now unplug it. Now that is unplugged and the error has gone away, let's just make sure. Yep, that is definitely unplugged and you can probably see in there, there is nothing in there. It is completely empty. I will now plug it back in and let's see what happens. It looks like it is booting back up. And there we are, F04. I've turned my lights off so it's a bit easier to see. Let's try turning it on again. And yeah, it goes back to the same thing. So I'm guessing there is something up with this. I don't really want to risk putting a VHS in here in case it gets stuck because this error seems to revolve around stuck tapes. So I don't want to make it worse by getting a tape stuck in there. So I'm not really sure what to do. I don't really think there's any point in me taking this apart and having a look inside, because I don't really know what I'm talking about anyway. But what I am gonna do is just take the camera off the tripod and let's just take a quick look through that flap just to see if like there's anything stuck in there or something. I wouldn't have thought there is. Yeah, it doesn't look like anything's in there. It's very difficult to see because it's dark. But yeah, it doesn't look like there's anything in there. So whatever was stuck isn't stuck anymore, but we are still getting the error. Let's try turning it back on, then press eject. 
yeah, it shut itself off again with the error code. I'm guessing there's something up with the mechanism in here, and that's probably why someone got rid of it for free. But they didn't bother mentioning that this thing doesn't work. So I think that will be it for today's video. I'm now going to ask if anyone has any suggestions, because I'm guessing there's something up with this which is beyond my skill set to repair or something like that. I've looked on some forums, it all seems to be something to do with like the ejecting mechanism not working properly. So I'm guessing someone might have been too forceful in the past and rammed something in at maybe slightly the wrong angle and that's just made something not quite as it should be. And this is kind of a shame really because VHS players, or at least decent ones, are getting hard to find now. This one being in such rough shape, it's not exactly a big deal. If this was pristine or something like that, I would be pretty upset. And I would be more upset if I had paid for it and I'd been promised that it works. But it was free. They said it worked. It doesn't. But you know what? It was free I, and I didn't even have to go and collect it. They brought it to my house. So it didn't even cost me anything in petrol. So I've not lost out on anything here. All I've really lost out on is a bit of time messing around with it. But what I've gained from it is this video and potentially the opportunity to get some help from the comments about what I can do to get this working if there is anything to do to get this working. So that is now it. I'm not going to throw this away or sell it anytime soon. I'll wait a bit longer to see if I can work out if there's anything I can do, although I do quite doubt it. So if anyone wants it, why not? I don't particularly have a use for it if it's not going to work and it's probably too much effort to try and fix anyway. So I will be getting rid of it at some point, but I'll wait a while just to see if I can work anything out. So if anyone knows about these things or what it might be or what I can do, please do let me know in the comments. But for now, this will be it. Thank you for watching. Unfortunately, not much exciting happened, but oh well. This is the way things are sometimes, especially when you get free things. There are no promises. I'm not exactly going to say to the person, hey, you gave me this promising it worked and it doesn't because I can't exactly get a refund. It was free and I do appreciate the opportunity to have this for free. But yeah, it just doesn't work. Maybe they didn't know it didn't work. Maybe they didn't test it recently. I don't know. It's hard to speculate. and I don't really want to blame anyone. So yeah. It kind of just is what it is. So thank you again for watching this video. I'll see you in another one where hopefully things will be going a little bit better than this poor VHS player. So thank you again. And I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.